What's up, everyone? I am so fucking mad and irritated right now, and I'm going to tell you why. Let me tell you why. For one, my makeup probably looks like trash, but it's okay. And for two, because I was trying to record a video for tonight, and I was going to do a look, showing you all my new makeup, and do a tutorial and everything like that, while I was doing it, and showing you all my, my makeup. That didn't go as planned, because right in the middle of it, my phone froze. It froze, my video froze, and I lost some of the footage throughout of it, because it just fucking froze. Like, it took a shit on me, basically. And then I tried to make another video, and then it was like, size limit reached. But I was really determined to make a video tonight, so I was like, I'm going to make a video, nothing's gonna stand in my way, fuck this phone, I'm just going to put a ghetto-ass backdrop, which is cut off at the half of it, delete some fucking photos and some old videos inside my phone, clear up some storage, and make a new video. And on top of that, my phone was sitting on top, and it is sitting right now, actually, on top of some books and some of my eyeshadow palettes, up against my speaker, with my pop socket pulled out, holding it up. That's how ghetto I am, people, but it's okay. At least we're all still lovely human beings, right? And I don't get mad about anything, so my fucking phone... <sighs> so the speaker backed up, and it dropped one of my eyeshadow palettes, and one of the shadows actually broke and fell out of it. Thank God it was a cheap eyeshadow palette from, like, LA Colors, and it wasn't one of my expensive, fancy ones, because then I would have been really pissed off. So... Basically, and then some of the shadow got on the floor. It was like a black shadow, so it smeared a little bit. I had to clean that up. And then it was just a oh, big hustle. But anyway, guys, welcome back to my channel. I barely ever rant and I barely ever get mad, but I just had to take some of my heated frustration out and just tell you all about it because it was pissing me off. So let's get into this video, which is actually going to be a story time video and showing you all some of my new makeup. So, I think I want to do the story time first and then show, my, show you my makeup at the end. I know that's ass backwards and I'm sorry, but this is a really good story that I want some people to know. And literally, I met Tana Mojo yesterday, well, two nights ago now. Um, met her, took a picture with her. I posted them on my Facebook, my Instagram, so you probably have already seen them. And she signed my shirt and everything like that, and it was just really fucking awesome. She's really one of the sweetest human beings I've ever met. She's an amazing YouTuber. I like her music. I like her videos, and she's just so fucking good, and I love her. She's amazing. Shout out to you, Tana. Bam, bitch. And I actually, whenever I met her, she was like, your makeup looks bomb, and I was like, bitch, I look pale as shit. <laughs> I love you, but you're beautiful. And she was like, you're beautiful too, and I was like, well, let's be beautiful together to get a picture. So I gave her a hug, we took a picture, and it was just amazing. So I recommend everyone to go watch her, because she's amazing. So anyway, here's the story that I want to tell everyone, and it is a story that I don't talk about much, and it's actually not a bad story at all. Like, it's actually a really good pumped up story. So, let's Grab some popcorn, grab some snacks, because you're in for a hell of a ride with this one. So, let me go through, it was the beginning of last year. It was January of last year, so this happened over a year ago. So, it was the beginning of last year, and what happened was, I downloaded the app Meet Me. I was at my cousin's house, that live in Maryland, and I downloaded the app Meet Me, okay? And for those of you who you that don't know what Meet Me is, it's basically just an app where you can meet people and stuff like that. So I met, I went on the app Meet Me, you know, I put, you know, my gender, my age, all that shit, all my status. At the time, I was 19. I'll be 21 this year. Um, and I was turning 20 that April. I turned 21 next month in April. Um, so basically, I just... You know, I downloaded the app, and I matched with this guy, and I'm not going to put his name out there, because I don't want to, like, put his business out there or anything like that, but he's not a bad guy. He's actually very nice. And I met a guy on there and everything like that. Okay. So this is 2018, so. I'm going to flip. But it's okay. But anyway, anyway, guys, um, this is 2018, so people meet people online all the time. So I met this guy, and we'll just give him a fake name for, like, security reasons and shit like that. We'll call him Damien. That is not his real name, but we will call him Damien. So Damien, I don't know if he hit me up first or if I hit him up first. I think he messaged me first. So we just started talking and stuff like that, and just as friends and everything like that. 
And I was like, I want to meet you, and he wanted to meet me too. But the problem is that neither of us drove and stuff like that. So we really were like, how are we going to meet each other? Like, he tried to call me an Uber, a taxi, all this stuff. Like, nothing was working for, like, two or three days. And we were really determined on meeting each other. Like, really determined. You know what I mean? Um, literally, okay, so one of the nights I was at my cousin's house, I stayed there for, like, a little bit. Um, I was talking to my cousin, and she was like, he's, like, he's going to hurt you. Like, you need to stop meeting people online. Like, he's going to fucking hurt you. And I was like, I don't think he's going to hurt me. So... I had him give me his address. He gave me his address, and we typed it in on her phone. She had an iPhone. So we typed it in on the maps on the iPhone, and it came up, and it was a $2.5 million mansion. That's what this fucking house was. And I was like, okay, maybe you're right. Maybe he is going to hurt me. (laughs) Because I was like, listen, like, I'm poor as hell. I don't know anyone that lives in the $2.5 million mansion and shit like that. So I literally just messaged him and I was like, hey, so my cousins think that you're sketchy. Like, basically, I said that or something like that. And can you video chat me and show me around this $2 million mansion? And shit like that. So he video shadowed me and he showed me around. And it was literally a $2 million mansion. It really was. It was beautiful. It was amazing. So literally, about a couple of days later, or the day after, or something like that, he comes and picked me up with his friend in a BMW. A white BMW. It was nice. It was probably brand new from that year. So, I went to his house. And it was a $2.5 million mansion already. This motherfucker was huge. This house was huge. But it didn't have a pool, which is weird. But it was a really big house and everything like that. And it was like, he... So he lived with his uncle at the time. So it was actually his uncle's house, but he lived there. And I stayed inside this house for like a fucking week with him. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I don't like promote meeting strangers online because a lot of crazy shit does happen. But this was an experience that just happened to me. So, like, the one time I almost got, got kidnapped in New Jersey, but you can go check that out in a, in a past video that I posted and shit like that. And I might actually link that video below. So, anyway, if I know how to do that, because I'm kind of a dumbass. But it's okay. I love you all. But, anyway, I went to his $2.5 million mansion, which is actually his uncle's, and I was hoping to move. They were moving, yes, but to this nice-ass condo, which I was also in. So I was helping them move and everything like that, you know, just being like a good civilian, helping them move and everything like that. And so I helped pack his uncle's Gucci glasses. He had tons. I would pack his fucking shoes. He had tons. His clothes. He had tons. His fragrances. His colognes. He had tons. Like he probably had thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars and all this shit. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this stuff is fucking awesome. It's nice. And he had, like, pictures, like, of artwork on the wall that were just fucking beautiful and a nice-ass chandelier and, like, this huge-ass statue and, like, marble floors and, like, nice white couches. Like, I'm not getting, like, this motherfucker was hooked up. You know what I mean? So, basically, I helped him move to a condo. We went to the condo. It was a three-story condo. And the walls were, like, made out of, like, clear marble or something. Like, they were nice. The shower was nice and everything. So it was like kind of like a downgrade, but like not because the condo was nice. And there were actually two people living in the condo at that time, but they were moving out soon. Um, so basically what happened was I went to the condo and I met these two other people that lived there. These two adult people, they were actually very kind. One was like a graphic designer and then I forgot what the other one did. And I'm not going to put their names out there either, but I basically met them and stuff like that. And, you know, I helped him move. We went to the storage units. I helped him pack away shit, everything like that. Like, it was just, it was crazy. Like, it was really fucking nuts. Like, literally nuts. But let me get to the best part of the story because it's not done. Whenever I was helping him move. I had my wallet with me. I had a nice, long, old navy gray coat that I miss so much. And I'm going to tell you why in a minute why I miss it, because I don't have it anymore. So this is the bad part of the story. And I don't don't mean to be negative, because I'm a very positive person. But here's what happened, right? So I left my stuff in my shirt that I had, my skinny jeans, which were my only pair of skinny jeans at that time, Mm -hmm. my old navy jacket, and my wallet inside my OJ Navy jacket pocket and I left it inside of his 
closet. So a bunch of people were helping us move as well. And stuff like that. I forgot my stuff in his closet. And it packed away with it. And went to his uncle's storage unit. And I lost my stuff. I lost it. I lost my wallet. My debit card. Everything. I lost my clothes. I lost everything. Like, I had to wear his clothes for the next, like, three or four days of being there with him. Because I... Like, oh, thank God we were the same size. Because literally, like, I lost my shit. I lost my clothes. Like, simple as that. And I texted his uncle and stuff like that after I left. And I tried to get my fucking clothes back. And he was like, I'll send them to you. But I never got them back. So I had to recall it. I had to get a new debit card. I had to get a new ID. I think I even la- lost my New Jersey ID in that. Or like my Marilyn Monroe, like, copy of her license I had in my fucking wallet. I don't know. If I did, like, my life has been so crazy, so I literally don't know where the fuck that shit went. But anyway, what I'm talking about, I even think I lost my social security card. Like, I think I had to get a new social security card. But I don't know. But anyway, guys, that is what happened to me um, about the time that I was in a $2.5 million fucking mansion, and my stuff accidentally got lost in the process of it, and I was helping someone move to a condo that I met on Meet Me, and I stayed there for, like, a week. (laughs) So, yeah, that is my experience with meet me and everything like that. Sorry if that story was kind of boring, but that's just a crazy ass fucking thing that happened to me in my life. I was like, what the fuck? Like, why are you not sending me my shit? Why? 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 So then let me get into the last part of our video where I'm going to be introducing you all to some new makeup. All right, let's go. So one of my good friends named James got me the soft glam palette in Beverly Hills. Anastasia, Beverly Hills beach and everything like that before he left to go on this little training trip in another state and it was just a really nice gift that he got me so these are the colors you probably why does the brush fall off me because everything in my life falls apart i'm just kidding but then here are the colors let me act like a real beauty guru and just show you damn bitch what okay so basically these are the colors let me put the brush back in so I got this palette, and I've been wanting this palette for so long, so thank you so much, James. And then he also got me the Amarizi Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighter, which I'm wearing on my cheek right now. And can we just talk about this glow for a second? It is literally like an orgasm on my cheek. So here it is. It's a pretty ass wave. Like, I'm not kidding. It's a gorgeous ass fucking wave. Like, it is... At least my ears do look nice, but that's that. And then here is this Morphe one that I got myself. It is the Morphe 35F palette. Yes, 35F palette. And it has these beautiful colors in it. And I was actually going to get the 35O palette, but then I was like, this complements my skin more. So let me just like do a swatch of this color right here for you so you can see how pigmented this shit actually is. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. Morphe, you're killing the fucking game. Because I got another Morphe product to show you, and that is the Jaclyn Hill palette. And if you follow makeup, if you know YouTube or anything like that, then you know that this palette was in craze last year and everything like that. And Jaclyn Hill, she did a really good job collaborating with Morphe. I'm going to open it up. It's messy because I have used it a lot. But it has 38 colors, amazing colors. And let me show you how pigmented this one is by going in with this pink color right here. Here and let's go. I don't know why I did it with this one. Let me just do with this. That's my middle finger. I'm so sorry. So yeah, that's very pigmented too. Good job, Jacqueline, on creating that. You did an amazing ass fucking job. So then I got the new one of my friends named Brian. One of my best friends got me the Tarte Clay Clay Palette too, and it is amazing. It's beautiful. So let me swatch a shadow in this one. We'll shot. So we'll swatch Onyx right here on this one. Right there. And it's amazing. Literally, it comes with like nine colors and it comes with a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight at the end of it. And I got the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation, and I'm wearing that right now. It is in the shade Pearl because I'm a pale ass bitch, but we're all still pretty. You're pretty. I'm pretty. We're all fucking pretty. So we have that, and then I have the new Kat Von D Lock It Setting Powder, and the new, I don't think this is new, and I don't think this is new either, but whatever. I got it though. Y'all. And then I got the new, not the new, I don't know why I keep saying new, man. 
I don't know why, but I got the flower setting powder through um, Drew Barrymore's brand. It's actually sold at Walmart. I am all for drugstore makeup, high-end makeup. I say if it works, it fucking works. Use it. You know what I mean? But also like a packaging bitch. I love packages. I love who it comes. Big fan of it. And then I just got these two new highlighters. So in Sephora, whenever I went on my makeup spree to buy new makeup, um, you got like this deal that if you bought like a $20 item, like a purchase through their brand, then you would get, you know, a free like gift from them in this cute little bag with 14 things in it. And this just happened to... Fuck, why, why, why? This happened to be one of them, and it is the Liquid Illuminator Northern Lights Highlighters. I have two because my best friend came with me, Sarah, and she came with me, and we basically got one, but she didn't like hers, so she gave it to me. I personally do like them a lot. And I got a face primer, a matte primer for right here, and then I got an eye primer right here. I actually got two eye primers. I got a new one, and then I got like a peach one. And then I also got this setting spray right here, which is the D Slick setting spray through Urban Decray. Urban Decray. Cray, cray, crazy bitches. Urban Decay D Slick setting spray, which is amazing. Some people say it has a scent, but I don't really think it does, honestly. And then I have the Morphe M310 brush for highlighting and shit like that. And I have a Morphe New Beauty Blender. I gloss put over shit like this, so let me just show you. So this is a gloss, but this makes it glossier. And shit like that. This is also through Ulta, and this is actually free in the kit. Mmm. Bitch. Yes. So we have that. And then we have some new eyeliners. This is not an eyeliner. Some eyeliners, some lip liners, and we have um, gel shaping, brow shaping gel. So my brows right now probably look dark. I like them personally, but um, I use this first, and then I put like some mascara in it because my eyebrows are dark enough to do that to like shape out and stuff like that. And I actually think it looks really bomb to be honest. Shout out to my hair lady at Walmart for making my brows and hair look so nice. So we have that. We have. Some new mascara through Ulta, which also came free in the packaging. And everything like that. And I'm wearing that on my eyes. It, my makeup's probably fucked up. I do feel gold underneath my eyebrows and underneath my eye, like, waterline right here. Like, underneath my eye, like, lower lash line is, is what it's called. Duh. And everything like that. Because I personally like it and everything like that. I mean, the weird, crazy shit, so. And then we have this. And then I have, like, five other colors, but I don't have them on me right now. And this is the color that I'm actually wearing right now. And this is called, this is actually through Ellen Tracy. And I got this, like, for, like, four bucks. Like, six of them came in a package at Marshall's for, like, four bucks. And they're actually really amazing. And everything like that. And then it all came in this cute little bag. And then I showed you all some of my old makeup before. And everything like that. I really wanted to do a video doing a makeup tutorial, and I was, but my fucking phone froze, so then I was like, I'll just tell you all about the $2.5 million mansion, about me meeting Tana motherfucking Mojo, and just show you all my products and stuff like that, so I hope you all enjoy this video, um, give it a thumbs up, like it, I will link my New Jersey kidnapping video below, and... I hope you all follow me and subscribe. If you don't, cool. Still love you and everything like that. So, bye guys. Have a great one.